Okay, here to do uh, my review on the HK VP9 SK subcompact in OD green with night sights. Uh, I did a little video of this a uh, couple of weeks back, uh, just a preliminary uh, thing, but I wanted to tell you uh, how things have been going over the last couple of weeks <clears throat> with this gun. Uh, let's go ahead and safety check that gun. You'll see the magazine is empty. And there's nothing in the chamber, so we're good to go on that. All right, so there you have it. Uh, OD Green uh, did take it to the range <clears throat> and fired maybe 100 rounds through it. And I got the feel for the pistol, and uh, let me tell you, it functioned very well. Uh, no failure to feed or misfires. Uh, just using you know regular brass, full metal jacket. Uh, can't remember the brand, but doesn't really matter I guess <clears throat> um, trigger is very nice uh, as you can see uh, oh, wait a minute what's going on with this I can't get this thing to shoot what uh, is there a safety on this gun no there is not it's actually because it has a, si a scissor trigger so in order to pull it you have to pull it and we will pull it. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Uh, a little bit of take up and pow. Very light, very nice. <clears throat> and probably about a five and a half, six pound trigger pull, uh, which is great. So uh, there you have it. The, the gun comes with one flush 10 round magazine. And if you opt for the night sight version of the gun, it will come with two with the pinky extension. And I'll just show you briefly what that looks like. It does have bullets in it, so we be careful there. Uh, anyway, that's you're going to get a full purchase with, uh, with this particular magazine. Do I love this magazine? No, I don't really like the way it angles down like that. It, it, you know, it's okay. It serves its purpose. You get all three fingers on it, which is nice. But I, I really prefer a flat bottom as in the flush and the flush is, is very nice I, I have no problem shooting it with a the smaller flush magazine and uh, uh, this does have the uh, paddle release for the magazine which I love I got no problem with it, it took me about I don't know maybe less than a minute to get used to that and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the fifth, uh, 13 round magazine which is a uh, HK accessory you can buy separately. They're about $42. Uh, Patriot Arms of America has these currently. Uh, I think the HK site is out of them for now. But you, as you can see, you get a full purchase on the gun and uh, three extra rounds. Uh, makes it very nice. Um, let's get that out of there. We are clear. Back to the flush. All right. So I, I will say this uh, about the gun. Uh, a lot of people may be wanting to buy this because it's a subcompact or called a subcompact. Uh, this is not a subcompact gun in my opinion. Uh, it is not a full size, but it's somewhere in the middle I would say. You know, it's relatively fat, it's relatively long. I'm not going to give you the specs because I don't know the specs right off the top of my head. You can look that up. Um, but if you think you're going to carry this in your appendix or even at, you know, f four or five o'clock, you can do it. No problem. But is it comfortable? No, not to me it isn't. So I picked up this deep concealment, uh, holster and you can get this, I think on eBay, just look up deep concealment holsters. Uh, it's Kydex. It's made exactly for this gun and it works very well. Covers the trigger, covers the um, magazine paddle release, which I happen to like. Uh, I don't want anything getting in the way of that. Um, but you know, that's a lot of that's a lot of meat. You know, it, it's uh, it's not going to be that comfortable. I, I have not found it to be comfortable. And you know, I'm I'm a skinny guy. You know, flat stomach. Uh, you know, for whatever that's worth. Um, I do appendix carry, and when I do, what I don't like about the holster is the front is a little exposed and that cold steel 
presses into your skin and a little bit too here when you're carrying it in that manner. So, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, it does come in the OD green, which matched my gun. And, uh, and there you have it. So to break the gun down, you simply lock the slide back. You pull this lever down to six o'clock. You let the slide off, slides right off. It's real simple. It couldn't be any more simple. Uh, I have done it. I've cleaned the gun, a little oily right now. Uh, let's talk a minute about the, the back straps. It comes with uh, small, medium, and large back strap and side straps, which is pretty unique, I think, for, uh, for guns. I've never had one that had side strap adjustment. So I've ordered from HK a black back strap for this particular model. Uh, with this color scheme normally comes in green, as you can see. Let me get this case out of the way so you get more. So um, I use a small on the back, medium on the side, small on this side. And uh, that gives me everything I need. Um, works quite well like that. So we've covered, I think, pretty much everything except the night sights. I ordered it with the night sights. So it comes with the flush magazine and two with the Peaky extension, all three 10 round mags. And uh, what do I think of those? Well, they work great at night. If you have this sitting on your uh, nightstand table, uh, it's awesome. You can see the green dots, uh, you know, in the dark, and that's good. However, during the day, um, these are a little hard to uh, sight in on sometimes in, in low light at the indoor range. You know, I think the, the regular sights uh, are a little bit better. Um, you know, I've had a chance to pick up both guns. So keep that in mind if you're going to purchase the gun. Uh, you may just want to go with the regular sights, although you'll only get two magazines instead of three, but it is what it is. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm happy with the gun. I would recommend it. I uh, got rid of my Beretta 92FS and my Beretta PX4 Storm Subcompact, uh, both hammer fired. This is my first striker, and I just find the striker to be just easier. It, it, there's nothing to get in the way. The trigger is just consistent, about maybe five and a half, six pound trigger on it. Uh, trigger pull is the same on every shot. And just overall, it's a beautiful gun, well made. I love the OD green, and uh, that's about all I got. So I hope this helps any of you uh, in the market for this gun. I don't think you'll be disappointed in the least. I know it comes in gray and black and you know green, and I think there's a desert sand colored model. Of course, you're boring black if that's what you want to do. Um, there you have it. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. Uh, leave comments below and let me know your experiences with the gun. Again, deep concealment Kydex holsters available on eBay. I'm sure you can Google it. I think this thing was 50 bucks delivered. The guy had it right out to me. You know, within just three days I had the thing. Uh, and again, I'm relatively satisfied. A uh, little worried that it might be a little rough and I don't want to scratch the gun. So I'm also looking for a, maybe a leather uh, alternative as well. But So there you go. The HK VP9SK with night sights in OD green.